Um, so our group initially started looking at uh, ways of doing uh, rapid damage assessments and uh, long-term damage assessment. Um, as for what we originally started to try and do is uh, take the current maps and improve them with a uh, the water line, basically to analyze uh, what damage was being done or had been done uh, to the houses and what power was currently out. There are several maps across many different power supply companies. Uh, you know, power companies have the maps, have the information, but they don't share it very well. So we were trying to aggregate it and see what we could uh, see for uh, so that we could then supply that data to the first responders or the people supporting first responders, as well as uh, across Salvation Army and eventually FEMA. Uh, what we managed to do in the short period of time is get uh, some information uh, that was released by the power companies in New Jersey uh, after Chris Christie tried to go after them, and uh, we managed to uh, take some of that data uh, that we had found and throw it into a hard coded uh, file that uh, Chris has been working with and so, so what you're seeing what you're seeing right now is this is the information that we scraped uh, that's coming from Jersey Power. And so you're like, okay, you can see some areas are bad but some areas aren't. So the first part is to get that in our own application. <coughs> this is this is basically an exact duplicate of that data on um, where the redness of the circle indicates this is a very big problem. Once we did that, we could do slightly more interesting things with it. So this is sort of the final map, um, which accounts for the population and the percentage of people that actually have power. So when we're comparing this, these two maps, the area up north doesn't necessarily look that bad. It's hard to tell, but you can see the overlapping circles to the side of the population. Those are pretty small areas that have a lot of people out, whereas Jersey City is a pretty large area that has also a lot of people out, but the density of people out doesn't, isn't really captured in this map. So if you were looking at this one versus this one, you might not realize the, the severity of the problem in sort of the north right across from uh, Manhattan. Um, clearly Hoboken's hit pretty hard, and Bayonne's hit pretty hard. Um, <coughs> you can see those. Uh, and so yeah, this is just a prototype. All of this data is completely hard coded. Um, it's not dynamically pulled up or anything. We've experimented with like what sort of visualizations are used 